Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this 100% edible floral gelatin two-tier stenciled cake. Now I know I've done a lot with gelatin cakes recently and I swear this is the last one for a while unless I come with, up with another idea I just have to try, of course. <laughs> Hi guys, please ignore me. Um, I wasn't planning on doing my recording this way today, but I thought it might be easier if I explained to you what this is all about. Um, I had an idea, hmm, maybe two months ago, um, when I started playing around with the gelatin of doing a fresh edible floral cake with gelatin. And um, so that's what these are all here for. These are all edible flowers, the flowers, and then I'm gonna use the rest and I'm gonna pot them in or at my house. So I'm not gonna waste all of the rest of the plant. Um, and then a small disclaimer too, I am well aware that uh, Liz Merrick from Sugar Geek Show just did a similar cake and it's gorgeous. It was gorgeous what she came up, up with and no shade to her whatsoever. In fact, I highly recommend going over and, and watching her video. Um, but the disclaimer is um, we had the same idea and I've been researching it and um, I didn't want to waste the idea. So my version is a little different than hers, just a little bit different. Techniques are similar, um, just different design that I had in mind. So disclaimer on that, I, I'm aware, and again, go watch her video because hers is, is gorgeous. But this one I was already, yeah, I still want to do it because I don't want to waste the idea. So anyway, these are the flowers I have, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash them real good, I'm going to pat them dry, and then I'm going to I'm going to put them in the microwave and dehydrate them. And what that will be is I'm going to use two plates, microwave safe plates, and I'm gonna put a layer of paper towel, I'm gonna to put the blooms on there, and then I'm gonna put another layer of paper towel on it, and then I'm gonna microwave it for 30 second intervals until they have flattened, they're pressed, and somewhat dried out. So I will show you the rest of that, but I just wanted to come and pop in here and tell you about that and explain what I'm doing. So hold tight, we'll get to the rest of it. So before we get started on today's tutorial, I wanted to let you know a little something. I'm planning my son's graduation party and I needed to get some pictures printed for his memory board. I didn't know what to do because, you know, as we all know, most of our pictures are now stored on our phones, they're on our social media, they're in places that are kind of harder to print from. So I found this app, guys. It's called Free Prints. This is my answer to my problems. This is a free printing app where you can get up to 1,000 photos printed for just the cost of shipping per year. And they're delivered right to your door within a few days. But right now, with my promo code up above, you can get up to 15 prints shipped right to your door. So just use this promo code. So I downloaded the app. And all I did was I chose my 15 photos and I added them to my cart. And within a few days, I received this lovely little packet. Open it up, comes in this little package. And I have 15 four by six glossy pictures that are perfect for the memory board. I mean, look at my baby. Think I'm gonna cry? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> There's no avoiding that. So these pictures are perfect. So again, all you have to do is download the app, pick 15 photos, and get them shipped to you completely free. And then you can go back whenever you want and order more photos for just the cost of shipping. Okay, so now that I've told you all about today's video sponsor, let's get to the decorating of this cake. Now all I did was cut all the blooms off of these flowers, like I said before, and yes, they are planted in my yard, not in the yard, in my garden as we speak. Just did that today. So I'm just making sure that those stems are cut short enough so that they're not in the way when I'm pressing it. And then put the towel on top, so there's one on top, one on the bottom, put the plate on there, press down on a little bit, and then put them in the microwave for 30 second intervals. It was about a minute and a half to two minutes for each type of flower. And they're gonna be a little bit damp uh, when you take them out of the microwave. Just leave them at room temperature to dry out. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get our cake crumb coated. This is uh, white chocolate butter ganache that I used on this 
bottom tier. I thought for this gelatin cake, I was going to try the, the butter ganache like I talked about in the last one. So then after this, I'm going to give the gelatin cakes a rest a little bit. I just had some things that I had to try. And this did work very well. And just put it in the refrigerator to chill while you get your flowers off of the paper towel. Those had been sitting on the paper towels for about an hour before I tried to peel them off. Because like I said, they needed to dry out just a little bit. And even if they're still just a little bit damp after you take them off the paper towel, it's okay. Just set them aside for another, you know, half hour or so until they are most of the way dry. You don't want them cr crunchy, crispy, but um, just try to get as much of that moisture out as you can so it doesn't interfere with the gelatin. And now I'm gonna make the gelatin. I have um, this super clear, yeah, super clear is what it's called. <laughs> Um, gelatin that I'm using. I got that on Amazon and I will put a link in the video description. It's not cheap, but guys, you get a lot out of that bag and it's definitely worth it. So you can see all of your details underneath the gelatin. Now the directions are on the, the bag of gelatin itself. And I just followed those directions and I have my, uh, gelatin blooming on the side there. And now I'm heating up my water. And once it gets to the point where you have a little steam coming off the top of the water, I just did it in the microwave. Don't let it get to boiling. Um, right before it starts to boil, you take it out and you add your bloomed gelatin. Now I did, um, I, I guess I should say I did not follow the, man, the bag description exactly. I doubled the amount of gelatin than it calls for. Because last time when, I don't know if you saw the last one, but if you did, if you recall, Last time I said I, I needed to have either more gelatin or less water to get a more stable, firm gelatin. And that's what I did this time. And it worked. It worked out great. And at this point, I went ahead and added my color to my gelatin. And you'll, you have to let it set for about an hour to two hours at room temperature. And you will see that it clears up as it sets. Now I'm using um, some acetate inside of a cake ring. And this is how I'm going to pour my gelatin over the cake. I'm just using some packing tape on the inside of the acetate sheet to keep it from um, spilling out through the seam. Um, and then I did wipe down the acetate with a paper towel to try to remove any fingerprints. And all I'm doing is I am attaching these, these uh, petals, these blooms on to the uh, butter ganache covered cake. Um, just with a little bit more butter ganache, just a little little dot on the back of the flowers or on the cake and then attach your, your flowers to your cake. You want the, to get them um, as flush to the cake as possible, otherwise your acetate sheet is going to be sticking out too far around your cake. You're gonna have a really thick layer of gelatin and when you make that gelatin, also side note, you can add whatever flavoring you want. I did not add a flavoring because it didn't matter, nobody's gonna eat this. Um, but you can, you can use, you could do an orange flavor or you can do whatever you want on that end. And you would do that after you add your food coloring, I believe, before you let it set. I did include some leaves. You didn't see me pressing those, but I did. All of these flowers and leaves are pressed in the microwave. And I put the acetate down first. Make sure that you have a gap in between the acetate and all your flowers and then put your cake ring on there. I do have a little ring of butter ganache um, in between the acetate and the cake to try to seal it from the inside. And then I did another layer on the outside as you see me doing here. And I am using my spatula to drag it up on to the cake ring and then try to seal it onto the board as well because otherwise you're, you could um, accidentally get a hole a leak. And then I did pop it in the freezer for a good half hour to set that ganache before I did this step. Now that this is not boiling hot and I had left it to set for, it was about an hour and a half. It's, you can see through it. It's clear minus the color, of course. And then, um, and it's not going to melt your butter ganache because it's basically tepid at this point. And I just like to use a straw and a squeeze bottle to get it all the way down to the bottom to help prevent bubbles. And then once I got to the top, I just poured it over the top, making sure that it covered all of those um, 
raised edges. Since I did not smooth that down, I just need to make sure that it was, um, there was, um, it covered the highest peak. And I put it in the refrigerator and I left it overnight. You might not have to do overnight, but it was the end of the day. Figured I'll just leave it till tomorrow anyway. Um, overnight, I think, is better if you have time to do that. And here I'm just covering the top tier with uh, a stencil. This is a mesh stencil that I purchased on Amazon. Yes, Amazon. Um, and I have used this in another cake, but this time I'm just using it with just um, some orange buttercream. I've used this with royal icing before, and I thought, right, let's try it with buttercream and see how it goes. And it works great, guys. Mesh stencils, you uh, are basically, you're just kind of staining the surface of your fondant with the color, really. You don't have a thick layer of buttercream. So I was able to pick it up and touch it without it rubbing off. That was nice. I'm flipping my cake over and this is just buttercream covered cake. I did not put that in the footage because I have a lot of footage, but I just um, covered it in buttercream, turned it upside down with that fondant piece on the top. The top is now on the bottom so that when you wrap your fondant wrap around it, you get your sharp corner. And I did let this, the wrapped part set for about 20 minutes before I lifted onto the cake so that it wasn't stretching and pulling as you're trying to manipulate it onto the cake. It's not gonna crack if you're just leaving it for that amount of time. And then this is day two. And what I'm doing right now is I just removed the ring and I'm cutting the tape off of the acetate. Do this as gently as you can. And then look how clean that pulled off, guys. I had absolutely no problems with it. So definitely double up your gelatin or cut your liquid in half for this type of a, an application with the gelatin. And I'm just using some straws since I'm doing a two tier on top of the gelatin. You have to make sure that you have straws to support the cake. Make sure that they are sitting at the, um, the top of your gelatin, not sticking out, but just level with the surface of your gelatin. I did use a little buttercream and then I placed my top tier on there. And then I'm using a sharpened dowel straight through both of the cakes. And that's what's gonna keep it from sliding off of that top. The buttercream plus the dowel is just a safety net there. And then I'm just using some more washed and dried fresh flowers and attaching them on with some buttercream. So you have your fresh floral, edible fresh floral uh, underneath the gelatin and using it as a decoration. So everything on here is 100% edible, minus the dowel, of course, but who's gonna try to eat that? Nobody I know. <laughs> and of course, I'm in my own way again. I'm still trying to figure out the best angle for this, guys. If you have any ideas for me on how to, how to film myself by myself without getting in my own way, that would be great. All right, so here's my fresh floral, edible fresh floral gelatin two-tier stenciled cake. I hope you all liked it, and I hope you got something from it. And we'll catch you next time. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to... Check out my other social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.